Hey guys, I am here today with Blair Brown and she is the owner of Visionary Advantages. And Visionary Advantages specializes in being a one-stop shop for all your branding and your marketing needs. So today we are here to talk about when to take risks with your digital marketing and also when to play it safe. So Blair, feel free to take it away. All right. So every owning a business already is so risky for a lot of people, right? I what always makes me laugh whenever I say that though, is because whenever I first started my business and this, this one is my third business. I didn't think it was a risk. I thought it was riskier staying in corporate, which is like kind of funny because I think most people think the opposite. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm like, okay, but now every day my business, you know, I'm always taking risks as every business owner is. Uh, whenever it comes to marketing and branding, I have noticed a lot of people get really nervous about it. And I think it's because they aren't hundred percent sure what kind of return they're going to be getting on their investment, which is completely understandable considering it's their baby. And, you know, you want to make sure you're spending your money in the right areas. You want to hold your money tight and some, you know, what can you DIY versus what can you outsource? There's a lot of question marks. So that being said, whenever you're evaluating the risks to take and then the risks to maybe not dive into right right at the right out the gate. I would say, and I say this as a risk loosely because I don't think it's super risky, is really just looking into your branding and your marketing strategy. Like your initial strategy, especially with your branding, is so important to get that off the ground because you want to establish yourself as a brand. So for me, I'd say investing in something in professional help for your branding once you're past the like very, very, very beginning stages is important to just refine your look because if you think about it, would you go to a brand that looks terrible and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to buy that. Like I, I wouldn't, I'd be like, Ooh, that looks scary. Or you know, even if I wasn't a branding person, I'd be like, I don't trust that. That's probably not going to be good. So to get rid of that doubt for your consumer, you need to make sure that your branding looks great so that way you can get them past that lack of knowledge of who you are or lack of education of what you could do to help them um, just by establishing your brand. So for me, that's like a risk worth taking for sure is investing in your branding and making sure it's done right from the start versus piecemealing it together over the next five years. And then you wake up one day and you're like, oh my gosh, that looks scary. Better to just get it done. Um, so that's the risk I would take. A risk I would be a little bit weary on are digital ads. So uh, I can't tell you how often clients will come to me or pers prospective clients and they say, okay, how much money do I need to dump? Well, they don't say dump. I'm using the word dump. <laughs> dump into ads. <laughs> How much do I need to put into ads like Google pay-per-click, social media ads, for example? How much money do I need to put into that in order to sell 100 units next week? Well, truth of the matter is, wouldn't it be nice if we could all just predict that and sell 100 units or whatever we're selling and be guaranteed that? But the fact is, you're not. So I... Actually, digital ads is something my company can help other companies with, but we don't even put it on our website, at least at this day and time, um, because we find it so important that brands establish an SEO foundation first because it helps, it gives you more bang for your buck on the ads that you invest in later. So if you're going straight into digital ads, just right out the gate, throw it, it's, it's almost like setting money on fire because it's not proven to have worked you might be spending a lot more than you initially think. You have to have the right person helping you A, B, and test different graphics and visuals um, to see what works. And there's a whole strategy behind that. But if you don't have any SEO set up on your website, your website, Google will kind of ignore you, let's for um, lack of better terms, but it might not put you at the top of the page um, organically. So you want to get that organic presence through SEO. And then later, once you're solid, then you can invest in digital ads if it's right for you. So for me, I'm like, okay, don't risk everything by throwing it into social media ads or Google ads, just because it seems like a fast fix. It's usually not. Usually you waste hundreds, if not thousands of dollars 
if you're just doing it to fix something or sell a hundred units overnight, it doesn't work that way. So don't do that. <laughs> Hopefully that, that answered your question. No, it definitely did. If anyone wants to learn more about either of these topics, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, go to my website, visionaryadvantages.com. You can check out everything there. I have a lot of free resources for entrepreneurs and business owners. So go check that out, take advantage of it. Or if you're an Instagrammer, go on there, check, uh, say hi to me. My handle is, hey, it's Blair Brown. Perfect. Love it. Thanks so much. Thank you.